What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and this is the finale of Fan Made Exotics, the only series that lets you submit your exotic weapon, armor, ghost shell, or heck, any Destiny exotic idea and have a chance for realistic concept art made for it. Now that's because we've partnered with the artists Benjamin Radiman and Michael aka Rageblade, both of which will have their deviant arts linked in the description down below. Now the previous Fanmade Exotics video was the final episode, the final chance for viewers to submit their exotic ideas and in this video, we're not doing a traditional episode, there'll be no more chance for anyone to submit their ideas, that's done with, but for one last time, we are going to showcase the best exotic concept ideas that were submitted in the previous video for one last time we're gonna have some featured exotic concepts now guys again this series has simply run its course with destiny 2 up and coming there's an entirely new gun system there's entirely new exotics and we're basically playing catch up with destiny 2 at this point so there is definitely a chance that we rejuvenate the fan made exotic series much later down the line after destiny 2 has been released but for now this series is coming to an end if you enjoyed this series please remember to support the final video and so let's showcase the first and part of the final featured exotic concept with the Lobotomy Exotic Sniper Rifle, designed and made by Rageblade. Now this has the exotic perk called Lobotomy. Now what it is, is that headshots will ricochet if the target has been killed, resulting in another headshot at a nearby ally. So essentially, if you get a sick pick in PvP, if you shoot an enemy in PvP, get the headshot kill, after it goes through that enemy's head, likely it will keep going forward, hit a surface, and then shoot somewhere near an ally. Now, of course, shooting directly at an ally, especially if you have a hit scan weapon, and hit scan simply means that there's no actual bullet travel time, is that it goes directly towards the enemy as soon as you press the trigger, that could potentially result in some problems. You shoot, uh, through someone's head it hits a surface instantaneously and automatically goes to an ally you'll be getting a lot of double kills pretty much any time you'll get a single kill you will get a double kill however simply having so that it ricochets and has some sort of factor that directs it somewhat near an ally so you have a chance to get that sick double kill but it's not guaranteed that would be extremely fun to use and this thing would be very very rewarding in pve as well just because there's so many more enemies around shooting an enemy and then simply having the bullet go towards a nearby enemy uh there's like three enemies nearby always in pve so you have a very high chance to get double kills with each successive headshot which is very very rewarding and just super sweet to use now moving on to benjamin radiman's creations firstly we have the destiny 2 exotic kinetic auto rifle concept the always faithful designed by unkempt virus 2-1 this weapon has a few unique perks. Firstly, with the intrinsic perk, Haka Machine Gun. This weapon fires in five round bursts. This is combined with the main perk one, full auto trigger systems. Holding down the trigger will fire this weapon at full auto. So essentially you have a choice. A one trigger pull with this weapon will fire five rounds. So you can very easily press the trigger, fire five rounds, release the trigger, press it again, and essentially use this auto rifle like a pulse rifle. Get that accuracy of a burst via an auto rifle. However, if you hold down the trigger, if you're in a close range scenario, it's going to go full auto. You're going to have the benefit of an auto rifle as well. So that is a huge degree of versatility. Now this is combined with the exotic perk, Don't Tread On Me. This weapon deals increased damage to all shielded enemies. Very useful in PvE. Landing precision hits grants an armor and recovery buff for you and nearby allies. Kills increase damage for a short time. 
That last perk is frankly total overkill. That makes it very overpowered. But if you kind of dial it back a little bit and just have the first part of it, where dealing precision hits grant you an armor and recovery bonus, even a small one for you and nearby allies, is definitely a very acceptable exotic perk. And it really goes with the ally themes in Destiny 2. I'm sure you guys have noticed, like, you have a lot of things that help your allies. The Titan Shield, the Warlock Health Regeneration, or the Warlock Damage Buff. So this weapon will kind of play on those themes as well. Even a lot of perks now help your allies, like Chain of Woe affects allies as well now. So that definitely fits in with themes in Destiny 2. Now moving on from there, we have the Destiny 2 Exotic Energy Hand Cannon concept, the Pedal by PR1SC. This weapon again has several unique perks, firstly with the intrinsic perk Sacrifice. Lose a small amount of damage for better accuracy and shot speed. So that's kind of the main trait of this gun. It doesn't do very much damage, but it fires quite fast and is very accurate. Now then we're going to have a main perk, Bloom. Precision kills have a 20% chance to dramatically increase health regeneration abilities, kind of like the Red Death. Moving on from there, we have the exotic perk, Wither. Precision shots have a 10% chance to poison enemies like the Thorn. So, a very small bonus, definitely not something that can be abused like the Thorn, but definitely a useful bonus and, you know, a 10% isn't great for an amount of a bonus coming up in PvP, like that's not reliable in PvP, but in PvE, 10% would trigger enough times that it would definitely be useful. And it also says precision shots, so if you're using this weapon against a boss, where you're emptying the entire magazine and getting all precision shots, uh, you have a really high chance for that thorn-like damage over time ability to actually trigger and then just deal more DPS, making this actually quite good at, you know, DPSing bosses in PvE. Precision kills having a 20% chance to dramatically increase your health regeneration is also, you know, that's quite useful across the board. When it comes up in PvP, it's going to be very, very good, again akin to the Red Death, which was heavily used when that archetype was actually competitive, but also any sort of health regeneration is very, very good in PvE as well, just because you have so many enemies, there's so much incoming damage, and a 20% chance, again in PvE when there's so many more enemies, so much easier to get those precision kills so much easier to trigger this ability it's going to be very good there all right now moving on from there we have the destiny 2 exotic energy scout rifle concept the hallowed dagger idea by i have cdo this weapon again has several unique perks and, and that makes sense for destiny 2 the destiny 2 exotics always had several kind of exotic and unique abilities the first one here is the intrinsic perk boomer this gun shoots plasma bolts that over penetrate enemies with minimal recoil but have bullet travel time. This is combined with the exotic perk, Hallowed Dagger. Getting a precision kill increases your next melee damage output by 5%, stackable three times. So getting three precision kills gives you a 15% melee damage boost, overall gonna increase your DPS, maybe, you know, in PvE or maybe even in PvP, it gets you a kill where otherwise it wouldn't. I think you could increase 5% to 10% stackable three times, get that 30% damage bonus, or, you know, heck, even higher. Being able to get a precision kill, like, that's not easy. And that's going to keep that very fair in PvP, because it is quite hard to activate. So you could literally have it, like, 50% at getting three precision kills, give you essentially double damage for a melee, letting you get a one-shot melee kill in PvP, which you can't do anymore in Destiny 2, but again, getting three precision kills before that to activate this ability, then specifically having to get a melee, that's quite the rigmarole to access, and that keeps it very cool and very effective, but also keeps it from being overpowered in my opinion. But it would also be really fun, and again, as we said earlier, really easy to activate in PvE. A precision kill is so easy, like three shots can kill three, you know, thralls or acolytes in PvE, and then getting that super high damage melee bonus, that would be really, really fun to utilize. But moving on from there, the final exotic concept we're going over today is 
the Shadow Jack Exotic Destiny 2 Kinetic Scout Rifle by Gyrate Joker 35. Again, we have several unique perks, so let's get started. The intrinsic perk is Red Jacks. Getting kills with this weapon grant extra crucible reputation. That's a really, really sweet perk. Bungie, if you're listening, that perk should absolutely be an intrinsic perk on weapons in Destiny 2, or just like a bonus perk in weapons in Destiny 2. When you get Vanguard weapons, they should give you bonus Vanguard reputation for getting kills with them. That makes perfect sense, and the same goes for Crucible, and the same goes for, you know, if there's some sort of Prison of Elders style of activity, that would be really sweet and would help give those specific weapons their own identity. It would help Crucible weapons, like the IS Luna, feel more like they belong in the Crucible if they gave you a little bit of a rep bonus in the Crucible. Moving on from there, however, we have the exotic perk Red Mark. Causing damage with every bullet in the magazine will make the last bullet in the magazine do three times more damage. Now again, I think this could be a little bit even more powerful than what's listed right now because causing damage with every single bullet not missing once is very hard to activate. So I think the last bullet could do, I'd say, four or five times the damage, making it a instant kill headshot in PvP. But again, you have to land every single shot with the rest of the magazine on enemies. You can't miss once, and that's very hard to activate. So getting a one-hit kill mega bullet at the end of final, super final round, that would be super fun, and I think that would be fair, because again, it's so hard to activate. And it would be a blast to use this in PvE as well. A lot easier to activate in PvE, and in fact, if you think of a scenario like, again, damaging a boss, where you are very often landing every single round on that boss, then you get a super powerful final round. That is going to really help with your damage output and your DPS, and that would make this thing like quite potent in Destiny 2 PvE, because we all know power weapons that's kind of where your secondary weapons, you know, now lie in the power weapon slot. And if you don't have power ammo, you're going to be relying on kinetic weapons like this. So having a weapon like the Shadow Jack that's very good against bosses, like I would really like to have something like this against the Inverted Spire boss. That guy had a lot of health, let's just say. And so that is it for all of the featured exotic concepts. Now it's time to shout out all of the other creations made since last episode. Firstly, by Rageblade, the Nautilus Exotic Hunter Helmet. Moving on to Benjamin Radiman's creations, firstly we have the Destiny 2 Kinetic Hand Cannon, The Pool of Eden by Ellis May. After that, we have the Destiny 2 Exotic Linear Fusion Rifle concept, the Blue Dragon 5FR by Plain Ben and Laura Apocalyptic. Next up, we have the Destiny 2 Exotic Power Snipe Rifle concept, the Red Rose by the Destiny Central. Next up, we have the Destiny 2 Exotic Kinetic Sidearm concept, the Shadow of Ambition by Calavid. Moving on from there, we have the Destiny 2 Exotic Sniper Rifle concept, The Final Bang, by Philip Jakovliak. And lastly, we have the Torque Exotic Rocket Launcher concept, by Bandit Nation. And so guys, that is it for the video and the series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this crazy wild ride that has been fan-made exotics. There has been so many good ideas. Guys, if you do enjoy this stuff and want to see more Destiny 2 content, be sure to slap that subscribe button. Now, if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, be sure to follow me on Twitter at RickCacus, that's linked in the description down below. If you feel like supporting the channel and myself, check out the official merch, also linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and the series, and as always, have a good day.